What's up guys, Taylor Marys here with All Day Training. It is December the 26th, 2015. This is the official last blog of the year, New Year's is upon us, uh, which is something I wanted to talk about. The beef I have with New Year's resolutions. Uh, I don't like them. They are absolutely worthless in my book. I'll probably piss a few people off saying that, but that's the truth. You can see, if you look at the statistical data over the course of time, especially over the last several years, 40% uh, or more people every year of this country make a New Year's resolution. Out of those people, about 8 to 12%, depending on the poll you look at, 8 to 12% actually keep those New Year's resolutions. That's like 1 in 10, okay? So the majority of people that make New Year's resolutions fail. I'm going to talk about two of those reasons and what to do about it today. I'm going to keep it pretty short. Reason number one, a resolution is not a goal. Goals are how you change your life. Goals are how you get going in the right direction. Here's how a goal is different than a New Year's resolution. A goal has a clear timeline, a beginning and an end. The day you made that goal is the day it's time to start making a change. You don't wait a week. You're not waiting a month. You're not waiting on the right time. There will never be a right time to make a change in your life. Things will always get in the way. So a goal has a starting point and an ending point or a timeline that you're going to accomplish this goal. And I don't want to hear January 1st to December 31st of 2016. So along with that clear timeline, there's a step-by-step -step process. That means clear actions that you're going to take that you have written down, that you've logged, that you're going to take to get you going in the right direction, along with you or someone to help hold you accountable. That's how you make changes, and that's why the majority of people don't keep the resolutions because they don't write down their goals. They overcomplicate things instead of writing one or two or three really big important things they want to accomplish and a plan, an adjustable plan, but a plan. So that's the first thing. Have clear, concise goals with a step-by-step -step process. When I started the business, every day I had a goal of some little thing I wanted to accomplish. Didn't matter about all these other things that I had going on. I was going to do one thing that day that got me going in the right direction of starting my own business. I made time for it. And it's, the, it's one of the reasons why I was able to start a business, because of that. Because I had a clear plan, and every day I was going to do just a little bit to get me going in that, direc that direction. And most people don't do that. So that's the first thing you're going to do. The second reason, this is the one that's the most important reason why most people don't hit New Year's resolutions. And this is really important, so I want you to listen up. Most people don't keep the resolutions because they're making a resolution. A time to start next week or next month, right? Next year. People who do that, they're not ready to make a change. If you do that, you're not ready to change. Because if you were ready to change, you would start as soon as you could. The pull inside you would tell you that something about you needs to grow or get better. And that should move you to the point that you would say, starting tomorrow, I'm going to make a change. Or starting today, I'm going to take the necessary steps to get going in the direction to make me a better version of myself. One of my favorite movie quotes of all time was uh, from Rocky III when Sylvester Stallone, Rocky, was sparring with Apollo Creed. And Rocky's getting his ass kicked, and Apollo can't understand why he's, he's just not getting it done. And Apollo just says, what is the matter with you? He screams at him, and uh, Rocky just looks back at him with this beaten look on his face like, you know, we'll get back at it tomorrow. You know, I'll, I'll, we'll, I'll work harder tomorrow. And Apollo looks at him right in his eyes and he, he screams at him, there is no tomorrow. There is no tomorrow. That's what I'm telling you right now. There is no tomorrow. There's no next week. There's no January 1st. You're not guaranteed another day on this earth. So if you're going to make a change to make yourself a better person, to be a happier person, to have the things you want in your life, you make a change now. December the 26th. Not next week, not January 1st. Most people are afraid to fail. That's why. That's why they wait. That's why they procrastinate. They're afraid they're going to fail. Or they're afraid it's going to be really hard. And they know that they're going to have to put in hard work. And so they, they do this little procrastination thing. Or they don't make a resolution at all. They're afraid to make a change because deep down inside, I think that they know that you have to change your mindset. You have to alter your thinking to get you going in the direction 
of your dreams or your goals or whatever whatever things you want to accomplish in your life, be it business, life, spiritual, you know, fitness, that you have to change your thinking. Ask anybody who's made a dramatic change in their life and they said it didn't just happen overnight. They didn't just make a resolution and everything changed. No. Something pulled at them inside that told them you have to be better. You can't just decide suddenly, I'm going to make all these great changes. No, you had to say, I'm going to start small, but I'm going to start today because something has to change. Ask anybody who's been wildly successful in any area of their life. It's the only way you change. There is no other way. You have to have something pull at you inside that demands that you become more. Eric Thomas once said, be willing to sacrifice what you are today for what you will become. Think about that for a minute. You have to make sacrifices today. You have to be willing to accept your faults and your bad habits and identify them. Be honest with yourself. Be truthful so that you can make the necessary changes to move forward. Not lie to yourself. Not sugarcoat things. Be honest with yourself. And know that it's going to be hard. And know that you're probably going to have to change your habits. That you're going to have to change your thinking a little bit. Habits. You're going to have to form habits. If you can accept those things, you can have anything you want. Anything you want almost. Legally. So here's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to call myself out. That's right. I'm calling myself out. I have two or three things in my life that need to change. Things that are going to make me a better coach for my clients. are going to make me a better business owner. Um... Make me a better man for my children and my wife. I'm not going to discuss it on the video now. If, if you want to know, you can always ask me in person. I'm pretty candid with most people. But I'm going to make those changes today. That's the important thing. I'm not waiting until January 1st. And here's how I'm going to do that. I'm not going to do anything too big. It's Saturday. I'm going to go hang out with my family. But today, tomorrow, and Monday, I'm going to do a little, just a little something. I'm going to take a little bit of a step to get me going in the direction of what I want to have in 2016. So I'm not just telling you what to do. I'm calling myself out. But I expect you to do the same. If you're going to have the best year ever next year, you have to start today. You're not going to wait till January 1st. You're not going to be like the rest of the people that will fall flat on their face and they will fail. Mark my words. Let that thing that's pulling at you inside it's telling you something's off. Something needs to get better. Listen to it. Listen to your soul. Put it on paper or your notepad on your phone. I don't care what you do. And write two to three clear goals. Don't overcomplicate things. Two to three very clear, concise goals. Things that you know on December the 26th, 2016, you can be proud of that you moved in that direction. Write them down. If you do that, and you're willing to sacrifice a few things, feel some discomfort, if you're willing to get over that fear that you may fail and just dive right in and just get after it and take little baby steps every day, I guarantee you, I guarantee you, you're going to have what you want. But you got to pay the price. You have to pay the price. There's no magic pill. There's no secret formula. Ask anyone that's been truly successful at anything or accomplished anything they wanted. That was the only way they did it. it. was taking baby steps and making sure that they kept the momentum going in the right direction. Change your life. Don't wait. All right, guys. Have a happy new year. I'll see you in 2016 where we all become better versions of ourselves. Later.